Hello, you multi. Macho malt maniacs of Maltoberfest. I got there. Thank you to Brown Water Boys 8304 for that malt mention. Welcome to the Whiskey Bothy malt mates. If you're at all interested in fine quality spirits and, and in particular Scotch single malt whiskey, this is the channel for you and I guarantee you and I'm not bragging when I say that I have decades of experience and have consumed uh, over a thousand bottles not completely some I give away some I swap some I you know um, I, I drink for quality not quantity but I have considerable experience and even better for you it's with an average palate so I'm not pretending here to be some kind of connoisseur um, with exceptional taste buds and an and, and exceptional nose. To be honest, a lot of that is, is really theatre. Uh, but I think you know what I mean by that. i tell you what isn't particularly theatrical. The pretension of this rather excellent single malt. Now, this has been Romach... Batch Strength 2013 edition. Uh, this is batch number one of the Batch Strength series. It's bottled at 59.7%. So there's a lot of alcohol in here and you'll be delighted to know that alcohol is carrying a lot of flavour. In fact, in my opinion, just a humble opinion, that's all it is. Benromach is one of the top 10 outstanding single malt signatures in the single malt scotch whiskey gallery i think it remains overlooked and underrated because the owners of the distillery despite having invested heavily in an artisan hands-on handmade uh, dunnage warehouse old school experience based operation they, they kind of often what they're bottling is is reduced in strength to such an extent that they have to chill filter it the 10 year old, the 15 year old and heaven help us the 21 year old so you're getting very mixed message from Ben Romach which means that the batch cask strength series has really only been on the radar right of the true whiskey aficionados the insiders who know just how the good this is and have asked me on several occasions not to review it and let everybody know however the more good whiskey is out there and selling the more motivation for distilleries to produce good whiskey which is traditionally made unchill filtered natural colored and delivered ideally with an age statement though not always it depends on the price we will forgive distilleries non-age statements if they're bottling good stuff at the right price and this trend is very much developing as we move from 2024 November 2024 which is the point in which I'm recording and uploading this review um, up until 2025 so let's see what the future holds for whiskey I think there'll be globally fewer people consuming bad whiskey and more people looking for good whiskey and by when I say bad and good, I mean the actual quality of smell and taste. That is my ongoing prediction. So, I have reviewed 15 Bin Romics over the last 15 years. That's quite a lot for one brand in this channel. And when I last reviewed a batch strength, it was in review number 941. You'll find it in the archive and um, it was the 2012 edition so it was the previous batch strength uh, 
vintage that I was reviewing. I gave it a high mark and I'm going to be giving this a high mark. Of course I am because it's, a, it's actually a great single malt whiskey that goes toe to toe with Springbank any day of the week. Yes, yes, you heard me. Controversial? Not really. There are so many, many good whiskies in the Scotch whisky cavalcade of what's available. But often we don't see them because the corporates, the bigger companies, dumb them down. They denature them. They reduce them completely. And for a very simple reason, to make it more palatable and accessible to lazy palates of passive consumers who are not that interested in whiskey. They're too lazy to develop a taste for whiskey, but they want something to mix with ginger ale or Coca-Cola to see in the new year. And I'm being completely serious when I say this. Anyway, in case I didn't mention it, this is Ralphie Review 1055, isn't it? No, it's 1056, thank you. My last review was 1055. So... <laughs> <coughs> Let's get stuck into this. This is unchill filtered. It's natural colour. It's authentic. It's what you call integrity delivery. So it's delivered specifically to present completely and holistically the smell and the taste, which is what, as informed whiskey drinkers, we are invested in. The first nose is just... Well, frankly, it blows your socks off. Wonderfully toffee malt, deliciously depth flavoured with grain, butterscotch, fudge, toffee, the absolute quintessential classic signature of a traditional old school Scotch single malt whisky. The first nose alone is going to really send a very decisive overture of experience to let you know you're dealing with a serious single malt. This is serious stuff. There's a delicious tang on the nose of slight citrus notes of, of baked banana and, and grapefruit and a little bit of Seville orange, there's a little orange note in there, bitter orange, like a South African small bitter orange is called Vanderhoom. A liqueur's called Vanderhoom. I don't know if you can still get it these days. The nose will keep you going for hours. The quality of the casks is immediately transparent. This is a combination of sherry and bourbon casks. You can just tell. The sherry casks, the bourbon casks, everything is literally pitch perfect. You can, like, let me assure you, let me assure you, because I know about these things. You could go out and buy a bottle of whiskey 10 times the price with an old age statement on it and you would not get anywhere near the quality you're getting from this bottling. the caliber of the sherry casks you're getting this slight soft treacle muscovado note rich raisins coming off the expressiveness and i mean i've not even tasted it i've not added water i'm still nosing it and it's just phenomenal better taste it Big super malt arrival. Tangs of citrus woven, interwoven with delicious, complex grain sour and bitter notes. This is carrying the full sensation range. And if you wanted to drink this neat, well, sip it neat, you're not going to drink it, you're going to sip it. Because if you're drinking it, leave. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way please 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 do not add ginger ale or coca-cola or iron brew or whatever to this single malt 
You're wasting your money, you're wasting your time, and you're not impressing people who know about whiskey. If you're going to be mixing up your whiskies, just go and buy something out of the supermarket. This is too good for you. Yeah, yeah, I said, that's what I said. It's too good for you. If you're not going to show it respect. Oh, the symmetry you get as you gently pour the water into the glass is just so spontaneous. It's just so dramatic. The the coat lines round the inside of the glass are as thick as you get for a young single malt. That's five millilitres. I'm going to add more, more water. You know I do and you know why I do because it gives you access to the flavour. I know you don't, but hey, it's your bottle. It's your way of drinking it. Sipping it, sorry, not drinking, sipping it. There's some beautiful ashy, soft smoke treacle and toffee infused coming off the nose now ripe fruit baked apple with sultanas and raisins and cinnamons and allspice and a bit of clove and a bit of nutmeg all that kind of winter dessert northern hemisphere foodstuffs that help you get through bad winters cold dark winters it's all there in the nose here the expressiveness, and then I want to use the word expressiveness because let me translate that for you. Some whiskies you'll nose it and you'll get, maybe get about half a dozen different tangible suggestions of flavour off it toffee, citrus, uh, malty, smoky, peaty. Right, with this, it's not six, it's ten. 20, maybe 23, 24, 25. The longer you spend with it, the more you'll discover. You literally trip over a new expression that's coming off this malt because it is so well made. This is a slow matured, um, small stills. So you're getting that depth of flavor and complexity. Uh, honestly, this this absolutely leaves more pretentious brands like Macallan trailing distantly in its wake. It is so superior. Um, marketing, it doesn't need the marketing. The smell and the taste, they're the marketing. I'm really bigging this up, but I'm doing so for a reason, because the cat's out the bag. I've, I've delayed reviewing this for a long time to let my Patreon subscribers, many of whom have asked me not to review it, to let them stash up with a few more bottles before more people realise how good this is. I can't hold out forever. There's more new distilleries coming through. Ardnamurkin, Choravaig, Loch Lee. We're seeing in the new generation distilleries, they're aspiring to be like Ben Romich. Ben Romich is already there. Ben Romich has magnificent old stock. And um, if you see Ben Romich from independent bottlers, probably your best bet is Scotch Malt Whiskey Society these days. Um, absolutely jump at it. Uh, once you've done your homework, once you've checked out the previous reviews, because the expressiveness of this particular single malt brand is is virtually as good as it gets let's have a taste before I give a before I either get overexcited or give it a malt mark it's changed completely now it's really opening up big bold vanilla citrus big bold vanilla citrus I'm adding more water yeah, you, you're seeing it yourself Yeah, I'm not apologising 3 teaspoons that's what I choose to do if you don't want to add any water to your whiskey it's up to you but you're getting less of an experience so I'm just stick that in your pipe and smoke it I'm just telling you um, but here we go that's 3 and I'm still getting big massive coat lines down the inside of of the glass such is the substance of this single malt little bit of 
Scotch mist appearing is happening quite slowly because the strength is really so high and it does take time because it's quite a mild day today but it is there the nose more soft toffee more bakery type goods you know sort of fresh baked croissants scones that sort of thing baked apple definitely banana little slight little gingery note coming in as well i mean Tasting notes, literally, I could go on another half hour with the tasting notes that are developing here. But we don't have the time, you don't have the time, and I don't want to get to the point here and give a mark. So we'll have to cut to the quick. Another taste before we before we just give this a really good malt mark. With the addition of water this delightful fructose grain led sweetness is coming out supported by the active presence of the of the vanilla giving infused infusing ex bourbon casks crisp clean delightful it goes on and on and on and because i'm not going to go on and on i'm just going to start to dish out a malt mark. Yeah, it really is that good. Thank you for watching. If you want to come back again for Ralphie Review 1056 Extras, I'm going to be talking about the tale of two malts. In other words, I'm going to be comparing an integrity malt which has been designed for the authentic delivery of taste and smell with an engineered supermarket generic malt. And I'm just going to set the two bottles side by side and just go between the differences, the main differences that they, they display in the experience. And you can see that this, this separation of, of single malt styles of presentation, of delivery, is getting wider and wider and wider and I'm just going to riff on it for about 15 minutes so I hope you'll join me for that and if you do hey I'll see you there